वेलकम टू फ्लटर टीचर इन दिस वीडियो वी लर्न कंटिन्यू स्टेटमेंट इन द डार्ट सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड कंटिन्यू इज एक्चुअली अ की वर्ड इन डार्ट वेन कंटिन्यू स्टेटमेंट रन और एनकाउंटर्स इन द लूप ऑल द स्टेटमेंट इन द लूप बिलो कंटिन्यू दे विल बी स्कीप एंड द कंट्रोल इज ट्रांसफर एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ लूप फॉर द नेक्स्ट इटरेशन दिस स्टेटमेंट इज लिटिल हार्ड टू अंडरस्टैंड डोंट वेरी आई विल एक्सप्लेन दैट वन इन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड continue can only be used inside the loop that is other than loop if you try to use continue you will get the error that supports regular continue as well as the labeled continue now here i will talk about two different questions that is how continue works and second why to use continue let's listen why someone should use continue okay we know we have a loop and loop will go on executing again and again repeatedly so when we place statements inside a loop like this one so all the statement inside a loop will execute again and again repeatedly but consider a situation that something happens some condition occurs inside a loop and you don't want to execute a particular part or a particular statements inside this loop consider in this case i can say this statements that i don't want to execute when something happens in the loop so in this case the continue statement will help me so how it works let's understand so when continue statement executed inside a loop all the statement below continue that is whatever part that you will place inside a loop and below this continue statement this portion will be skipped that is it won't be executed and rather the control will jump at the beginning of loop and it will start iterating the loop from the next iteration that is from the next round you can see we have a condition and as long as this condition of loop is true you body of loop will execute and we have continue here so when continue statement executed you can see the remaining code that is remaining part of the loop will be skipped and it will be directly bypassed at the top of loop that is at the beginning of loop and it will go for the next iteration or the next round for the loop and if continue won't execute it then simply the remaining part of the loop will be executed and it will go at the top and continues for the loop iteration just look at this example to understand the continue here i want to print the values from 1 to 10 for this i use a for loop from i is equals to 0 i less than 10 and i plus plus and inside body of loop i'm simply printing the value of i that's the reason when i run this program i will get the output 1 to 10 over the screen but consider a situation when value of i becomes 4 then i don't want to run this statement instead i want my loop should go ahead and proceed for the next iteration so for this i can write if i is equals to equals to 4 and i can simply print the continue now When I rerun the program, you can observe on my screen. I will get the output for one, two, three, and the remaining is for five, six, seven, eight, nine. But the noticeable thing here is the value of i is equals to four is not printed on the console. The reason here is when value of i becomes four, continue statement will execute, and due to continue, the remaining statement. Of course, I have only one statement to look. That is the print statement. This statement will be skipped. That is, it won't run in the loop. that's why i don't have output i is equals to 4 and simply it goes up and it will go for the next iteration that is it will continue for the value of i for 5 and that is shown here now let's say if i use here or i it was equals to 7 so what do we mean by it so as i am writing the or it means if any of this condition is true then this continue will run so you can see when value of i becomes 4 or when value of i becomes 7 this continue will run so that the value of 4 and value 7 will be skipped inside this loop you can see i is equals to 4 is missing here it's not there and even i is equals to 7 is missing here now let's try to understand what is label continue for this i have written two for loop so this one is called the inner for loop and this one is called the outer for loop the outer for loop is going from the value of i from 1 to 3 and the inner for loop is executing from value of j from 1 to 3 and inside this inner for loop i am printing the values of i and j so when i run this you can see the output with the combination of values for i and j so here i have the values of i 1 and the values of j 1 2 3 and these are the values of i 2 and the values of j again 1 2 3 and for the values of i 3 i have the combination of j 1 2 and 3 now consider i want to continue when value of j becomes 2 so simply i can write like this if value of j is equals to equals to 2 and i can write continue here 
When I rerun this program, you can see whenever value of j becomes 2, this particular inner for loop will continue with the next iteration. That's the reason I have i is equals to 1, again i is equals to 1 and j is executing for 1 and 3. You can see j is equals to 2 is missing here. Again here j is equals to 2 is missing and inside the next iteration again j is equals to 2 is missing. So what is happening here? This continue will continue only for this specific inner for loop. The reason here is continue can transfer the control at the beginning of only the nearest for loop. That is using this continue, I can transfer the control only at the beginning of inner for loop, not at the beginning of outer for loop. But consider a situation where I want to transfer the control at the beginning of this outer for loop. In this case, I can use the label continue. So for this, I have to pass a label for outer for loop. So I'm passing a label in this way, let's say outer loop. This outer for loop is called as a label and it must be written using the colon. So it has to be a valid identifier in the dart. And now when I'm using a continue, I'm specifying the outer for loop as a label. It means the continue will continue for this specific label. Means this continue won't continue for this for loop. It will continue wherever this label is available. So as my label is available for outer for loop, it will continue for outer for loop. So when I rerun the program, you can see the changes over the screen. Now in this case, you can see as I'm using continue with this label called outer for loop. So whenever value of j becomes 2, automatically it is jumping for this particular outer for loop. That is, it is transferring control at the top of this outer for loop and it is continuing for the next value of i, that is the value of i2. Again, the value of j becomes 2, it will continue for the next iteration for this outer for loop. And here I'm getting the values for i is equals to 3. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really like the way I'm explaining the concept, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.